Today in pet guide I am going to talk about feline pan leukopenia before going into the details of feline pan leukopenia let's have a look at outline of today's lecture the lecture will cover details on feline pan leukopenia feline pan leukopenia virus its diagnosis symptoms transmission prevention and treatment so the question is what is feline pan leukopenia feline pan leukopenia is highly contagious common viral disease of cat that is often fatal it mostly affect kitten it is caused by feline pan leukopenia virus or fpv pan leukopenia signifies extremely low level of white blood cells leukopenia is when there is a low count of wbcs the count is below 50 to 3000 wbcs per micron liter of blood Feline pan leukopenia has some other name it is also known as feline pan leuk feline infectious enteritis feline parvo and feline distemper cats that are susceptible to feline pan leukopenia are mostly unvaccinated cat young kittens that are of 3 to 5 months or sick cats often lead to affect vaccinated cats as i have already told that feline pan leukopenia is caused by feline pan leukopenia virus fpv let's talk a little about fpv FPV belongs to family Parvoviridae. The virus is stable in the environment for up to one year, but it could be killed in a household bleach using ratio one ratio thirty two, or a disinfectant like peroxygen disinfectant. It is related to canine parvovirus. Why it is also called as feline parvo, but the major cause is FPV. It causes disease in all felid, raccoons, and mink. FPV primarily target infect and kill the cells in the body in intestine bone marrow lymphoid tissues developing fetus and part of the brain in the young mostly cerebellum this piece of information is very important in identifying the lesions of the disease as we can see on post mortem there is intestinal dilation and hyperemia also petechial and ecmotic hemorrhages can be seen on histopathology and on histological slides we can easily see there are the changes in morphometry like the villi height and crib depth as it easily affect the developing fetus in the early stages it can lead to abortion but in the later stages if the kitten is born from the uterine infection then ultimately it could cause tremor and cerebral hypoplasia so basically the lesions we can see in the young kitten could be the small size of cerebellum this disease is mostly subclinical with no symptoms in the adult cat illness can be seen in the cat that is less than 1 year of age we can easily see fading kitten syndrome where there is sudden death with no signs in kittens that are less than 5 months are most likely to die from this disease diagnosis can be made based on history sign and symptoms of the disease blood work analysis in blood work you usually see low wbcs due to uh, pan leukopenia and also low rbcs due to anemia virus isolation is also helpful we can also go for pcr in this case What are the symptoms of the feline pan leukopenia? After two to seven days of exposure, we can see fever, lethargy, loss of appetite, and within one to two days after the fever, we can see vomiting, diarrhea. Sometimes diarrhea is present and sometimes it is not, but it could be sometimes hemorrhagic. That is why it is also called as viral enteritis. And there is anemia, dehydration, and weakened immune system due to the low level of WBCs in the blood. Thank you. The next question is about the transmission of the feline pan leukopenia. So, how the virus is transmitted when a cat comes in contact with an infected cat? Its contaminated feces, urine, other body fluids, contaminated object, 
food and water bowls litter boxes and bedding in this case the route of transmission is oronasal route but in some cases pregnant cats can transfer the virus to the kitten in utero the route of transmission here is in utero if the cat catches the virus in the early pregnancy then it could result in stillbirth fetal mummification and abortion in the late pregnancy if the cat catches the virus it can transmit that virus to the kitten and the kitten born will have the cerebellar ataxia and hyperplasia and it will show the signs of tremor coordination so what is the prevention of the feline pen leukopenia prevention is primarily achieved through regular vaccinations schedule inactivated or modified live vaccine should be used in kittens several vaccination should be repeated first given at the age of the 6 to 9 weeks and can be continued till the 16th week of age disinfection must be done the disinfectant mostly uses peroxygen we can use peroxygen because it is a strong oxidizing agent and it can be used as a disinfectant plus antiseptic the most common used peroxygen is hydrogen peroxide that can be used as a solution to clean different surfaces So what is the treatment of the feline pan leukopenia treatment is through sportive care we can manage the symptoms and also prevent dehydration with proper treatment cat may cure as early as 3 weeks after the diagnosis cat may clear the infection on their own in 4 to 6 months what is the treatment for feline pan leukopenia there is no cure for feline pan leukopenia as it is a viral disease we can provide sportive care that can help manage symptom and speed up recovery fluid therapy may be provided that will keep the hydration status we can nutritionally support a cat if it start feeding we can offer highly palatable feed or we can hand feed cat medication we provide broad spectrum antibiotic to treat secondary bacterial infection we provide anti inflammatory to reduce fever and relieve pain antiemetic is provided to prevent vomiting Antihelminthic is provided to mitigate the complication of parasites. B complex is used as immune booster. Cleaning and disinfection of the litter boxes, food and water bowl plus surfaces will provide the environmental support. Without sportive care, ninety percent of the cats with feline pen leukopenia may die. This is all about feline pen leukopenia if you want to add something to the detail or if you want to ask any question you can comment down below in the comment section Don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching